Well, hello, Twitch. Another episode of SCRP. I told you guys uh, I'm going to be bringing clips back. Uh, doing a recording tonight. We're in server. Uh, we just got uh, called by dispatch to let us know that we got a property to check. So I'm 10 8 in CAD. Here it is. So we're going to be headed to the Dollar Pills. We have a uh, store owner that uh, locked his keys in there uh, due to the storm. Uh, Actually, they locked his keys out. Once the sliding doors are closed, the and the alarm activated so we're gonna go make contact and see if he can uh, get his keys out so I think it was uh, she's in postal 810 and we should be headed that way here we go uh, let's tell us to go this way and guys the snows back in effect of Blaine County so we got some snow they need to bring the salt trucks out and get this stuff situated because it's a little crazy, as you know, a little slippery. So we're gonna take this route. We will take the other route around. So I got 40, 46 range. I'm sorry, it's curb. 46 range. So we'll get there and we'll make contact if he's still there. So I'm coming all the way from my residence. I just went 10-8. Three Charlie One Central. Be, uh, be advised: Is the store owner still on scene, or what's what's the traffic on it? No, the store owner is no longer on scene. He thought of it after he left and was already at home, which was about 20 miles away. Ten four. I'm, am I just checking if the doors are unlocked? Yes. Ten four. Okay. Well, it says that um he just wants to make sure the doors are not left open. He he went and locked them, and uh, he procured. Uh, he may have locked him, may not have locked him, so we'll see. We're going to make contact, get over there. Hey, Tim, so we're going to have to go the long way. They got some couple of roads blocked off, so we'll probably take the highway down. Fastest way ever. Let's see, yield to this. And guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. It feels good to be back in server, especially on YouTube, doing our thing, spectator viewers, and, uh, subscribers if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be here David O Gaming thanks you guys so much dearly let's make sure everything's tight hold on one sec for the light turn to green all right sorry guys I'm trying to go through some stuff make sure it's all right and this is the new um, FPIU I'm in love with it it's beautiful little cute machine cute machine this unit I'm super honored and blessed to have one. The mayor finally passed my budget. It's a little slick. See, I'm just barely touching the gas pedal and it's sliding everywhere. It's sliding and gliding. Back up a little bit. I mean, look at that Leo. He's going crazy. So let's see. Uh, we did have the PIS script in, in AI Interaction, but we took that out. Makes the server run a lot smoother. We have the AP, A ANPR activation on the left side of the screen. As you guys see vehicle ANPR and fixed A ANPR. Well, the st the, if the store is open just on accident, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. So that's a good thing with Code 3 lighting is uh, I wouldn't do this. But um, we the store may be open. Never know. People may be going through there or something like that. So I'm just going to go check it out. But it's good to go a little bit of uh, code too. Come on. Get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's that code 3 lighting for you guys. This way. I don't want to go down that way, sorry. Messed up, went down the wrong road. Just get out of those traffic lights. Good to get a green light right here. So, you guys know we changed the, the speed limit. 58 control. Go ahead, 58. Uh, we're going to be code 4. Uh, their heater is out there in the apartment, though. 
the hotel. Our maintenance man is supposed to come and check it today or tomorrow, but they're they're inside. So that's a good thing. I love Coke 3 lighting for that reason. <laughs> So the back roads, like for an example, if you're in any back roads like Sandy Shores, Algonquin, it's going to be 40 miles per hour. Any uh, highway roads, not the freeway, but the main roads are 60 and these highways are 80. So uh, when it's snowing, we sort of like to slow it down a little bit, not to goose it, because it is slippery. We got the, uh, what's it called, the vehicle um, handling lines and they they get a little slippery sometimes but this being a four-wheel drive it works great Let's see what I show you four-wheel drive 2020 FPIU It's surprising that you don't see no salt trucks out salt in the road right now. I think they've done it earlier, liquid salt, so it's, it's I guess it's holding to the road a little bit, uh, kind of good, so. Checking, we'll be making sure there's not people in here having a little snap and run party. All the guy locked his doors and security, so we'll check it out. <coughs> came over the call and says, hey, you know, can we check this? Uh, come to the store so he left when he was leaving, making sure the door was locked, so we're just going to check it out. we got some cars in the parking lot. Let me go over and talk to this guy right here and roll my windows down a little bit. Hey, el tu, el tu poquito español. Uh, so, hey, is those doors locked or they they open? Okay, he doesn't know. So. Get out. Let's make contact. And guys, let me set my personal vehicle too, because I always forget to do my personal vehicle. Um, gotta lock it up. With the winter tire, we got the winter tire out. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's locked. That's good. Nobody's open. So let's just drive around. Let's look at the back. The back door may be open or something. You know, so let's check it out. Safety first. Always click that safety bill. It's just snow. It's not that cold, so I can move the windows down. Have the windows down just a little bit while I do this. Outside the uh, perimeter check of the building, you know. The bay doors are shut. Let me just want to just go here and just check these doors just in case. Don't want to get out here and 
leave, and the next thing you know, it's been vandalized. Well, the 221, didn't you check the building? Alright, okay. The door's locked right there. The bay door's locked. Alrighty, yeah, it's pretty much locked, so that's good. Then we'll check the side. And if we don't come in contact with any uh, User left or loose doors or unlocked doors, we'll go back tonight. But this 2020, man, I love it. It's great. SRO days, man. Go out there, check the school, check the doors. Got to start somewhere, man. And done my duties and corrections, SRO, and on the road, man. That's how we do our things around here. Okay, let's check the bay doors are closed. We'll check this door right here. Take my seatbelt off. Yep, doors locked, so the perimeter and the, and the, the business is secure. <coughs> Let's roll these windows up a little bit. Let's roll them up. Control. Who is the dick? The ten six five max. Ten four. Three control six B advise the center for you could test on the on the twenty one. Advise the building secure. Check all doors. Check front doors, side doors, east side of the building. Check the rear door and the bay doors. Everything's go for uh, secure. I'll be back in. 10-4, so are you back 10 Yeah, yeah, it's back 10 baby, and we gotta go get a little bit of gas for the ride, because I'm on 22, 21 range. So we just checked your tool. Everything's secure, so that's that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Everything is secure. So now we can drive in the county and see what's popping. that before I get in the truck but this time I'll just do it while I'm in the vehicle still has to advise it my actions and what I do so we're back 10 8 so we're gonna go drive around here and check stuff out I didn't usually come my my, my usual route I usually come through the backside come through harmony I usually check the church but had a call it was sort of priority to get down here and code two a little bit, blow a little bit of red lights to get out here and make sure the building is secure and shut down and locked and not like being vandalized or anything like that. So we will check the red recycling center also. Cause I like to check my buildings. If there's no calls popping, I like to be stay active, be a proactive deputy. 
Free Trolley World Central Be Advised. I'm going to be doing a property check. It's going to be the Road Cycling Center, uh, Grand Sonora Desert, Cat Claw Avenue, nearest postal 703. I'll advise when I'm back 10 8. Alright, we'll be driving through here, seeing what's going on. They know is this is a, a authorized and restricted area, so they know I just come in here and just. Last time we had a couple of teens over there breaking into the pop machine, taking some sodas, uh, rolled up on them at night time, flashed my uh, high beams, they were scared to death. So, let's try to get in here without scraping the ride. So, I got in here last time with this beast, so. I don't want to scrape my ride, so that's. There we go. And also, man, we had some people sleeping here not too long ago. Uh, we found a family. It was it was starting to get cold before the snow set in, and uh, you know we we didn't give them no citation nothing like that. They looked like they was uh, homeless, hungry. So Blaine County got them a food voucher, and then we got them a uh, a week stay at the motel. And the father was looking for work, and you know, and he let us know he's back on his feet. He appreciates Blaine County for what we did, and we got some great deputies and. I mean, any anything that we can help out, especially during the holidays, uh, we're we're very very uh, thankful for what we have and how we do things, and it's always good to help somebody out. But there's this vehicle here. I don't know whose vehicle it is. Uh, I'm gonna just probably have it towed. Vehicle's been sitting here for a while, so. Three trolley one central. Could I get a 1020 uh, when ready? It's going to be Alpha Ida. It's going to be an abandoned car over here at the recycling center. 1020 when ready. Go ahead, Charlie. One. is going to be eight seven Edward King Tom three one two eight seven Edward King Tom three one two. It's going to be a banded uh, two door black. Uh, looks like a little uh, sports coupe. Uh, that's two twenty eight. Form. Insurance comes back invalid. Would you like 1051 to see your location? No RO listed. 10 4, can you send me DB toll on next schedule, please? 10 4, 1051 and route 5 mics. 10 4 Central, no further, thank you. Uh, let's, let's wait. If she says 5 mics, I like to wait a couple of mics and then get out because if it was on the roadway where it had a lot of space, I would bring the uh, AI tow truck in here so it's not. So I would like to just uh, get DV towing out here and tow this vehicle. And this weather's going crazy. It's snowing, setting in. Next thing you know, it'll be sunny. It'll be dull. Sheriff David L. does not like the the winter. Does not like the winter. I hate. I, I'm not a big fan of the winter. So we'll say DV Towing's on scene, and we're going to DV this vehicle. There we go. It's so beautiful, that little uh, Explorer. Love it. Three Charlie World Central 1051s are on scene. DV, DV next schedule. Uh, it's got the vehicle remover off the recycling center property. Show me code 4 back 10 8. 10 4, show you code 4 10 8. There's that, guys. We got a vehicle off the roadway. Got to watch the bumps. Don't want to mess up the new ride. So, yeah, let's get in it. Let's do it. And that, that beautiful sun, though. When it gets cold, it gets cold. But I, at least if it's cold, I like to have that sun out. That beautiful sun ray, man. It's. It, uh, energizes the soul. Yes, I'm driving really, really cautious tonight, guys, because this snow is no joke. It really is no joke. And look at that AI.
AIs. Gotta love the AIs though. Gotta love the AIs. They're crazy. Let's do a little bit of signal 11. I like doing the signal 11 over here because people come over this hill blasting. So I like to do a signal 11 a little bit. 320 will central be advised. I'm going to be doing signal 11. I'm going to be doing some radar. It's going to be Great Sonora Desert, Panorama Drive. Nearest postal 802. I'm going to be parallel with the railroad rear, rear tracks. Tip up. 10-4. I'll sit here for maybe like three or four mics and then we'll do our thing. you guys sick and drunk <laughs> by spinning my camera around that much I can see what's coming over the hill stuff like that so and we do have the train one thing I do love in this train man or this server is having the train in here the stuff functioning properly and um, I just love seeing that train especially in the brisk early morning when the sun's out driving down with your coffee going 10-8 Come to get some paperwork, start your day, and then the lovely trains going through it, knowing that they're bringing some products for Blaine County. It's exciting and awesome. We got to thank God for everything. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Without God, I'm nothing. In God, we trust. That's how SCRP rose. Three twenty one central. I want to be back. Code four. Back today. No infractions on the signal eleven. Right Ten four three twenty one. Somebody's busting on a four wheeler. Let's see if that's AI though. Please travel to the control. Go ahead, Dave. Make it a 1028. 10 go ahead. It's gonna be Tango, Hotel, Go, Lima, yeah, Oscar, Snake, Tango. 10 4. Plate, the lost model is going to be a gang burrito. Color black, insurance is valid. RO listed is a Jack's Polo. Would you like a 29 run? Yes, please. Ten four Jack's Polo. Address is going to be 834 Mountain View Drive. He has two inactive warrants. He carries a combat pistol with him, and he has three tickets and two arrest priors. 10-4, thank you, ma'am. 3 we have a wanted for kidnapping kids it's a white baller by white baller so we have a AP a, APR hit on a baller and he's going uh, doesn't give what kind of road, what road he's going on so let's see
Free Trolley World Central, can you put a bolo out for a white baller uh, C100? It's going to be wanted for kidnapping kids. Is that a uh, APR hit? Correct. Hey, Mr. Charlie, that, that's going to be dispatch's vehicle tonight. 10-4, uh, 10-4, if you can go ahead and clear that AMPR, that'd be great. It's going to be slash air vehicle, uh, hold on, standby. 10-4. Control and hunters going to be out of channel. Yeah. User left your channel. Well, we had a hit on a vehicle. So 1022 that hit. 1022 on an AP AMPR. I don't know why it would say dispatch's car is <laughs> wanted for kidnapping kids. I swear. Never a dull moment here in Blaine County. So never mind, uh, disregard that. I'm gonna go check the scrapyard real quick. Uh, so do you guys know uh, I'll be receiving a Ryzen 7 soon and I got me a, a radiator and a cooler uh, Corsair so I'm sort of excited about that it'll be coming soon so new more upgrades are coming to the PC so very excited it's gonna make this stuff even look better 321 central I'm gonna be doing a property check it's gonna be uh, the scrap yard the tow yard it's going to be uh, Alamo C Marina Drive, southbound, nearest postal 854. I'll advise my back today. So what I like to do is I like to come in here, check these people out, let them know that I'm here, and just check in the area because we have people honestly. User joined your channel. Bring their blanket. Channel. Back in channel. Two, four, three, two, copies. Uh, we have found people in here to OD'd. Uh, you know, come in here, try to just try to get somewhere to sleep. And we try to help you out. Now, if you come over here, bring your drugs and stuff like that, and dropping needles, and you know, and we come and check on you, and we find contraband and drug paraphernalia. I'm sorry. I mean, I pray for you, but I'm going to take you off the streets, and I'm going to put you away because even I know this is a junkyard, but we see kids coming here with their dads and moms and daughters that are into building cars, fixing cars, man, and any any drug and drug activity and stuff like that. We just that's that's a no-go for us. We'll, we'll tell you, we'll clean it up, and we try to keep it as clean as possible. That's why I try to come in here and do my rounds. So I'm gonna get out of the vehicle and we'll take a walk real quick. Cause man, last time, and the snowballs are back in effect. We need to deactivate that. So what I like to do is I know it's time-consuming, but I really like to get out and walk around and check. Anybody can sit in their vehicle, drive around, but you can't really see anything. The last time I got out. There was like a car like that, feet was sticking off with a blanket and stuff like that. And so next thing you know, uh, but that was a person that was just homeless and we try to help everybody out. I mean, don't don't take our kindness for weakness. But you know, we just, uh, there's a crusher. Cletus's car got crushed there. <laughs> Couldn't pay the bill. They told me he wasn't holding it for him. He tried to come through here and ask so many times, but uh, you know, and even they have big, Truck, truck tires back here. People try to come steal. The other night, uh, Trooper Andrew was uh, ca caught Cletus and U tool uh, got a dumpsters trying to steal tires. Uh, let him go with a warning, but he was uh, exactly. Uh... Alrighty. Hold on just one second. We have a 911 call. <laughs> User left your channel. Uh, she may be answering it though, so. I don't know, I think dispatch has got the, the call, so. But like I said, we like to come in here and just check it out. And we can, it gets User a little joined cold. Your channel. Go ahead. We just had an officer's vehicle explode. Brought us at the Panorama gas station. Post is going to be 804 Flywheels Garage. 
Ten four. Is that going to be in the one on twenty four seven near Sandy? The one over the railroad tracks. One over the railroad tracks. Ten four. Show me that photo. Uh, we got a vehicle that exploded. We don't know what's going on, so we're going to run code. We don't know if any. Uh, three twenty one situation. We have, we know if anybody's injured at all. Okay. Let's go over there, respond. It's over the railroad tracks. Everybody knows where the where the gas station is by the airport right down here, uh, Sandy Airfield. So we're gonna be going there. Oh, there we go. Yep, we got we got we got a vehicle fire. We have a vehicle fire. Uh, we gotta get off here. 321 Central, be advised, uh, Panorama Drive, northbound and southbound lanes are gonna be closed off. If I can get another additional unit to block off uh, away from me from the railroad tracks, I'm right here by the gas station. If we can have another unit to come and block the other side off, that'd be great. 10 4 3 Charlie 2, can you respond? Reese, you show me 10 8 10 41, active 71. 97 or 2032 call. 10-4, call's gonna be Panorama Gas Station, Flywheels Garage, Code 3. Well, let's see if we can put this out, guys. We got a fire. We got a unit. I don't know why. I hope he's not inside. And it's baking pretty high. It's spreading, it's spreading. I don't know if we're gonna be able to put it out. And we have somebody in the damn vehicle. Oh man, that's not good. Three charges, you show me behind seven also. Can we get a uh, DOT or someone? Light bulb was also taken out by a vehicle. 10 4. DOT is in route, five mics. Yeah, I use my fire extinguisher. There is a officer in in the unit. Uh, uh, we're gonna probably need a RA uh, medical here. Uh, step it up, code three ASAP. Ten four. RA is in route. Five mics. Yep, thank you. I need to get another fire extinguisher because he needs help. Get the freaking snowballs. All right. Well, I know that the uh, officer's in the car. He's already burned up. We'll probably need. Hey, Sheriff, do you want me to run over to the fire department real quick? Yeah, if you want to, that'd be great, man, because this fire is really thick. It's probably all gasoline or something. Yeah, we'll do. Three, Charlie, two, show me heading to the F. You picking up a fire engine? Ten, ten, I don't know, man. This fire's not going out. It must be. I don't know how we're catching this snow, though. But it's uncontainable, ma'am. You're gonna have to get out of the way. Ma'am, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Get out, get out here, get out. Get out here. Go on, go on, go, 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 get out here. We need to move this vehicle before this thing blows up. We don't need this, this thing to blow up either. We need to block the road off. You can get this vehicle later. We're really busy over here. If I can get it out though, and there goes my yeah, so I don't know. So, you know, he's toasted. 321, uh, 1050 uh, twos are on scene taking care of this deceased officer. We're gonna need a uh, tow truck to come get this uh, burnt vehicle, but stand by. We'll advise when air's clear. We still have flames. 10 4, let me know when you want to do one's in route. 10 4. 
Uh, well, we got fire on the on the on the way, so. Here we go. We got some. We got some. We got some fires going. Thank goodness the fires here, or the waters here. The new fire trucks are in. It's uh, the surf emblem on them. It's great. We're rocking. Yeah, that officer's down. I don't know if there's anybody in the other vehicle either, so we're going to have to check. Three trolley one central. Also, could we have corners in route also? Probably have two dead sub subjects in the vehicles. Well, that's one way to start the day, wreck into a thing, not good, and now we have an officer down. He's, we can't get him out. By the time we got here, uh, he's melted to the steering wheel. I think it's three Charlie 58, so that that's sad. Looks like it was, I don't know, looks like the other vehicle caused a wreck, and it just engulfed in flames. That fire's not going out. He's working really hard to get it out, but it ain't working. That guy having his truck that's flammable. Man, I have no idea. It's not going out, man. It's not going out at all. He had a backup jerry can, but I don't know. Yeah, no, we were just showing. I was just. Uh, we were both by a shop over here. Uh, I was showing him off the paint jobs of the vehicles and the one vehicle in the back. It's a. Uh, that's a crazy thing well you guys just stay back if you guys can go ahead and stand over by those cars please okay.
it's not going out. Well, there it is. It is. The fire is finally out. Goodness gracious. Uh, well, the, we know we're going to role play it out that. Three charge two. Fire is out at this time. Ten for three charge two. Fires out. Uh, poor old truck is. We'll act like that we investigated it. Hopefully, it loads it up. Uh, we got that taken care of. Hey there. Hey, what's up, buddy? I, d I don't know what it is. I think AI just don't like me. First, I'm getting gunned down. Now, I'm getting rammed into a freaking fire, fire or gas pump pump. <laughs> what the hell? It's all good. It happens, buddy. It's happening. <laughs> Everyone, the guys in the gas station, you come running over. They're like, what the hell happened? I don't know. It's all good, man. I'm glad you're all right. I'm glad you, you got out there and stand away, stayed away and... Uh, Everything's all right, man. You take care. Have a good night, buddy. Be safe. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, that was the officer that was supposed to be down, but it's all good. As long as my unit's not hit, it's all that matters, so... <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate the help. I appreciate the help, man. Uh, that was a hefty. It was a hefty. I don't know what kind of liquid that was, but it just would not go out. Go. Oh, it's a deputy going all right? You know. Or? I believe he. I believe he's all right. I thought he was in there melted to the steering wheel, but it looked like he ran out uh, to go down there to get some. Uh, uh, I guess if he can get some to put it out, but. Um, it's all good. Uh, I'm glad he's out of there. And uh, I was mistaken. I thought he was in there, but I guess he, he guess he got out. So everything's good, guys. Uh, I'm going back 10-8. You guys holler if you need anything. I'm gonna go get a statement from these two over here. All right. Thank you. Hey, can I ride with you to the station? Alright, uh, how you doing, Jim? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a. Who wants to volunteer to do a statement for, for me? So just tell me what happened. Uh, I. I can barely hear you. Speak up a little bit now. What was that? Uh, do you what we heard? Yeah, just tell me what what happened, what was going on, how, how, who, what caused the wreck. Um, we don't know, like, just came here to get gas, I was perfectly okay with that, I probably charged any less gas a lot of time, unless I'm pretty low on it, I know that. Uh, so he got, the, he got back in his car, and after he got back in his car, he went to drive, but we heard him, we heard his, his engine, well, we heard him start up and start to leave. No, also heard the crash, and then a few like, just like I say, two seconds after that of the explosion, we come out here. He's on the side of the road, burnt to a crisp. Yeah, same with the car that was next to him. 
Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was so too. It was just it was a jacket in there that was over his seat. I thought it was him, but it wasn't him in there. He ended up running out there trying to go down to the uh, run around the building here and try to get a fire extinguisher, but uh, he couldn't locate one. We got it out, then he came back and uh, and they told me that he. Um, wasn't an accident, but uh, he got out. So everything's good. So uh, uh, what about you, sir? You see anything? Or did you say the, see the same thing he did? That's all I had. Yeah, that's what I heard was the accident. So we come around to the next time you heard the boom. And it's, that's all it was. Okay, awesome. What is your, what, what's y'all's two names? If one at a time, tell me y'all's name. I'm Mike is how? Okay, Martini, and then you say uh, Martini, and then you say your name is Howard. Uh, it, uh, it's pretty much, it's just pretty much a uh, Mar Martini. Uh, it's, it's like exactly how they spell the drink. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. C I and I. All right, if we if this thing ends up going to court about an accident about uh, the people involved, we'll give you guys a call if there's a summons that comes up and needs you guys to be there. Will you guys to be getting the a summons. Can I get y'all's address? Yeah, that's pretty much just here. That's okay. Cool. Oh, so Martini, you li you live right here. What about you, sir? Howard, where do you? What's your address, sir? My 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 uh is, is eight nine five Grapeseed Main. You say eight nine five Grapeseed Main? Yes, sir. All right, guys. That's all I need for you guys, man. Thank you guys so much for your cooperation, man. And uh, and uh, we got the road cleared up. So uh, just when you guys go over there, and if you want to walk across the street, just be careful. There's some stuff. We had the cleaning crew coming soon to clean it up. So you guys take care, guys. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, have a blessed day. Thank you. You too. <laughs> so do you guys see me? It was a little bit of a mix-up. So I don't know if he, I don't know if he knew I was live or not. So it's all good, out of context. So we'll, we'll roll with it. Three Charlie one. So are you trying to raise me on the radio? Go ahead. Can I be checking out uh, Route 60 Motel Number Twelve, Clint and Alex? Make sure the maintenance man got there to repair their heater. Three Charlie fifty said their heater was out when he did a check on them. A ten four, ma'am. Show me in route code one. I'll do a welfare check. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll that's my mindset. Ten four. Uh, sir, anything out for a black band with red line on it? Negative. Three Charlie two, not there. No us. So we got a call that we're going to head down and check on Cletus and uh, Alice. They had some heat out. and uh, When it comes to that, I'll go check on them. Uh, just make sure they got their heat working. I don't know if they're home or not, but I'll check anyway. Uh, this place down here, uh, the motor in, they're pretty good if they say they're going to have somebody come check it out. If they don't, they know that they can probably be taken to court. And get sued. So they, they're, they're, they're pretty much on their maintenance and their uh, back, bathrooms, hotel rooms, and all the repairs that need and to be done. Sure if any problems that come upon them. Thank you. I know Cletus, so he'll probably let me in personally, so let's go check it out for a second. Hey, hey Cletus, it's me, uh, Sheriff David L. Can I come in for a second? All right, go ahead and get dressed. Let me know when I can come in. <laughs> He's in there, and Alice, they're probably in there sleeping still. Oh, it's good to come, it's good to come in. All right, ready or not, here I come. Let's go in there and check it out.
Alright guys, I was just checking on you guys, so... Uh, yeah, they got their heater fixed. Uh, I didn't see the vehicle here. Uh, that must be Alice's uncle. So Alice, Alice can drive, but the sh uh, Cletus can't. So, well, Cletus can drive. I'm sorry. Corrections. I still think he's on probation, but he's he's not on probation no more. Three twenty one Central. Be advised. Uh, uh, welfare check on Alice and uh, Cletus. Uh, walked in there. Everything's uh, working. The maintenance men came probably about ETA ten minutes ago. Ten mics and fixture heater. Everything's code four. Uh, I'll be back tonight. So you back tonight? All right, we did a welfare check on Cletus. I know that we have our moments and stuff like that. He's been he done a lot of jail time at the Blaine County Sheriff Sandy Shores area, uh, Sheriff's Office. But when it comes to somebody's well-being and heat, and, one, right? each other. And, and and heat and especially in wintertime, it's very important to us. And we'll check it out and uh, make sure if there's they need help or anything, we'll, we'll do what we can. Uh, go ahead. Jared, your wife just dropped off your lunch for the day. Said you left it at home. It's at the station when you're ready to come pick it up. Uh, ten four, ma'am. I I'll give her twenty one. Thank you so much for the update. I appreciate you. Ten four. The wife. Yep. I knew I left something today. I went out there. She made some amazing uh, Spanish rice. Uh, some pork chops. A little bit of a, a spinach or creamy spinach with cheese. And I left it. I had my little old. Uh, County Sheriff lunch, lunch bag and I forgot it. She brings me. I love that woman. She takes care of me. Here, postal 717. Control 100. 10 6, 10 mics. Self dispatching is in effect. Do Charlie want copies? Alright, man. Central Dispatch has been pretty busy today, man. They've been running her like crazy. 911 call here, 911 call there. But, you know, I'm glad we got that fire out. Sorry about that. We, we do our best. We're Like I said, we have a couple of members, especially, you know, right now was on scene before we got there. There's only two Leos, so we had to go with the fire truck. And, uh, you know, a couple of new people in here that, um, especially live, and stuff like that and they probably he probably didn't recognize it read the discord so you know we do our stuff and we just make sure oh, oh speed route 68 71 watch your speed of course i'm gonna go check on my oh my 80 year old elderly lady she owns 24 7 here she has her family working for her but she lives right here i like i just get out she's 80 She's been a really, really good friend of mine here in the past couple of uh, years, so I'm gonna get out and just I get out and I knock on her trailer and just check on her, you know. Her name is um, Martha. How you doing, Martha? It's me. Are you doing all right in there? Uh, okay, just trying to stay warm. All right, well, uh, if you need anything, you know you can call down uh, the sheriff's office, not a mercy number, and you just let me know if you need any bread, coffee, or anything like that. Okay, sweetie? I'm doing 12 hours a day, so you take care. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and have a blessed day, okay? Now, don't be shy. If you need something, just holler for me, okay? You've got my personal number also. All right, sweetie. Have a good day. Yes, yeah, um, Martha. I like to check on her. She, she's ever since I was a little kid. She, you know, she used to give me free lollipops. And my dad, my dad, and uh, used to work at that store. And I pretty much, she's like a family friend. She comes over for Thanksgiving. I come pick her up in my unit. She's going back to Nick from Signal Come pick her up in my unit. Uh, when the days that you know the holidays, I come in and help. 
help the BCSO boys out and I come pick her up and I take her to, to, to the house, feed her and bring her back. So, 321 Central, be advised, I just done a welfare check on Martha, uh, my 80 year old uh, Martha at uh, Harmony uh, Route 68 intersection nearest postal 710 eastbound. Everything is code for, everything appears uh, safe and sound. I'll be back 10 8. Charlie Wood Central. I'm gonna be doing a property check. It's gonna be over here at the discount store. It's gonna be Great uh, Grand Sonora Desert Route 68, nearest postal 707. I'll advise when I'm back tonight. Hey, do you know if that uh, animal arc's up and running? That's the sanctuary, right? Uh, I, I believe so. Uh, unless they all close down, there's a lot of stores been closing down due to the winter, man. They're like the earlier I had a property check over at U-Tool, the, the store owner left, and he wasn't sure if he locked his doors, so I went over there, code Victor, the store, everything's secure, but yeah, it may not be open due to weather, so everything, everything was closing down earlier today, probably about an hour and a half ago. Alright, yeah, because I, I thought I saw a stray back at the airport earlier, I was gonna, gonna go check on it. I will go, go ahead, yeah, it may, so it may, I it take may, it into the shelter. Yeah, maybe a stray. I mean, if it's it's if if I was running a dog the other day, it's like a little black and or like a gray and white one, and it's like a husky, and he's pretty hard yeah. to catch. I chased him all through the backside of twenty four seven Alhambra, and over there in uh, what is it called Algonquin Road, I couldn't catch him. He ran into the woods. Seven zero three. Cut call. All right, man. Well, uh, when when you're done, you wanna meet me over at the airport and we'll check it out. Absolutely. Just uh, uh, let me get this proper check down over here, and I'll be and I'll be in route over there. All right, I'll meet you down there. All right, buddy. I appreciate you. Be safe. Stay warm. All right, there's three Charlie Fifty Eight. Yeah, man. The one that was in the Fury uh, car explosion, but it's it's all good. He's he's sort of new to RP and two, so it's all good. We're all learning as we go. Three Charlie Two, you got traffic. Uh, just doing a proper check at the Recycled Center, 703. 10-4, just be advised, I came over there probably about an hour ago. There's a lot of people like to park their cars over there and walk over by that, uh, little, uh, I guess the 24 or Yellow Jack, whatever. Just, I told one earlier, just keep your eyes out, Tipo. Receive. Uh, I'm just going to walk through the interior and walk to the back area. 10-4. Three Charlie One Central property check. It's going to be discount store. Uh, last known, uh, last uh, location device is going to be uh, secure. Everything ten four. I'll be back uh, uh, today. Alrighty, let's go. So we've done a little bit of property check since the snow's coming in, and there's a lot of stores that close down. Never know who's around. Like you know, honestly, Cletus is a very deceitful little human being. If you can get something free or silly, he'll take it. Like like I said for an example earlier, he was. Uh, got a uh, verbal warning for Cletus for trying to steal tires out of the freaking dollar pills of uh, dumpster. That tire was probably all shredded and tore up. So let's go on over here. Let's head on over here to this dog call. Uh, three Charles 58 is advises that there may be a stray. We'll go over there and back him up. You never know, that dog may be hungry, we're snowing and nobody's hardly out, so it could be vicious. 
Uh, if so, you know, if it shows any signs of viciousness or aggressive uh, aggression, well, you know, I'll, I'll put it down. You know, so we don't need to be having that the kids uh, sledding and being out here. And um, and next thing you know, they're we're gonna call that the kids got bitten by a dog. Three Charlie one to three Charlie fifty eight direct. What's your twenty? Uh, I'm gonna be at the uh, Blaine County Airfield. You're supposed to eight zero. Ten four Central. Be advised, I'm ninety seven. So same traffic as three Charlie fifty eight. So we're gonna be looking at this dog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, never mind. Uh, twenty two. 4 be advised, I'm going to take the, uh, the the ring around, right right here around the um, uh, airfield, if you want to just go ahead and drive in there around the landing strips, I don't think there's going to be any planes landing anytime soon, so if you want to check the inside perimeter, and I'll, take, and I'll check the outside perimeter of the airport, and we'll, we'll link together right exactly where you uh, stand, where, where you're stationary now, we'll meet right there as soon as we get done, Devil. Devil. So, he says he's seen a dog. It's on telling where he can be. Three Charlie G, you can show me four ten eight. Ten four two, I got you code four ten eight. Oh uh, yeah, so there's a dog that's around the dang uh, airfield. Three Charlie one, three Charlie fifty eight directed. Did dogs show any signs of aggressiveness or being like wild or anything? Uh, negative. It just looked like it was freezing. Yeah. See, even we even do dog calls. The dog, it's, if he's cold, he's friendly. Heck, I'll put him in my truck and take him down to the SO, let him get warm, and maybe somebody may find us, uh, find us, find us, uh, find the owner. Or may come in like, hey, have you seen this dog? But well, as you see, I don't see no dogs, do you guys? And if he's talking about the dog that I think he's talking about, that dog is white and grayish. It may blend into the snow really, really well, so it would be hard to see the dog from a distance. Now, if there was, not, there was no snow or anything, it would be a little bit more easier, but I don't see no dog. I, I'm just I'm just cold victoring with a skim. I'm skimming the area and also scanning. So... Three Charlie G, show me property check eight four eight, Guanquan Boulevard, Cross Mountain View Drive. It's gonna be at the ammunition. Two four seven. And yes, I discharged my firearm twice. Whenever you have the ext fire extinguisher and it runs out, it automatically trains over to a gun. I hate that. So, um, And we have a mod in here that you activate the hose. Through Charlie 1, through Charles 5, 8, direct. I've seen a coyote. Coyote running toward uh, the railroad tracks, but uh, I don't see no physical dog. Are you sure it was a dog? Yeah, 10 4. It was laying over by the uh, hangers when I had first seen it. Tim. Well, if he, fu if he makes contact with the dog by the hangers, I'm all the way back here. So, I mean, if we find the dog, that's great. I hope we do. I hope we can. But if not, Maybe somebody, maybe it's friendly and he'll you know, go home tonight and get out of this crazy weather in Blaine County. Third Charlie, two, you can show me back code 4108. 242, got your code 4108. Alrighty, well, was dispatched. I think she had to leave, so we're self dispatching for each other. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, we are. This is here in CERP. 
we we were trained in everything. So if something comes up, we fall short, and we can do do you know not be like be not not answering each other because when you're an RTO, we're well also we're reserve uh, dispatchers too. So. 321 Central, be advised, no 1025, no location of the the dog. Uh, show me code 4, back 10 eight available for calls. Three Charlie, two show me a van vehicle, 2810 Reed, Delta, Echo, Alpha, Lima, Echo, Romeo. Uh, 1022. I'm gonna go to. Yeah, I didn't see no dog, man. I didn't see no dog at all. He's right there. Red stripe van that passed on the left of me. Yeah, I didn't see no dog, man. So just keep your eyes peeled out. If we find it, we'll find it. If not, oh well. Yeah, I think it. We're gonna be stopped at southbound. Yeah, I think it. I think it must have took off. It was sent around over here by the hangar. 22 and Reed. All right, 58, Tango, Hector, anything. Echo, Lima, Oscar, Sierra, Tango. I can hear you over that, great. 10-4, standby. What's your 20? And can you read the 28 again? It's going to be 834 Algonquin Boulevard, across from the uh, ammunition. It's going to be at the garage site. Had one mail out, staying in front of the garage doors at this time. Guy out of the vehicle. 10 4, go ahead with the 1028. 1028's going to display the loss. That's going to be Ego, Hector, Echo, Lima, Oscar, Sierra, Tango. 10 4, it's going to be the same vehicle that uh, I think 58 made contact with. It's going to be the loss. It's going to be a gang burrito black uh, insurance valid. It's going to be a registered RO Jax Cola. Jax Cola, you need, need, need me to run a 1029? Uh, negative. Just wouldn't come on scene since he's out of the vehicle. 10 4, you said 834. Receive. 10 4, show me route. 10 4, show me need additional or just two? Uh, now nah, we're good. If we, if we need you, we'll holler for you. Alright, man. We got a Detroit too. He's got that red, and black, and red burrito pulled over again. So we're just gonna just check it out. We're not gonna. I don't know what's what Charlie three Charlie two's on, but on Cena. So we'll check it out just to back him up and see what goes on. And uh, Jack's called He works here, so two Charlie one ninety seven. Yeah, 322, Jack Cola, he works here. Tip on. You'll have to obey track for claws and everything. Hey, what's oh, up, Jax? I moved out of the way for you. Hold on, Sheriff. You, you still working here after the night that uh, I, I thought you had a warrant and you had to call your boss, and uh, so I'm glad he gave you your job back. So. Oh, yeah, we all good. Okay, that's good. What's, what's going on here, uh, Chief? Uh, yeah, there's an abandoned vehicle. Uh, it looks like it's been there for a while. Uh, and everything. Um, I was about ready to get out, you know, check it out more when he came past me on the left after traffic was backed up and everything. Oh, whoa, 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 Jack. Yeah, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I was sitting on the side of the road with your emergency vehicle, though. Okay. Yes, but I was in the middle of the road blocking the roadway still. And you passed on oncoming lanes on the roadway on that two lane on param panorama there. Oh, well, that's your fault. You was in the middle of the road. You just said it yourself. Alright, Jax, but you know if you are if you come stationary upon a emergency vehicle with the Code 3 lighting on, I mean, I will just hold until we have uh, maybe uh, 322 is going to get his uh, traffic uh, vest out and motion you through, or maybe I was coming out and seeing to help him out. So next time, man, just uh, 
wait, 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 wait until you're cleared. Because, like I said, another person, if you're if he's in the middle of the road, and then you're coming on the left side, and the other car comes from the right side turning lane on the left side of Chief's truck. Next, you know, we have an NBA. You know, so we're we're just looking out for you, your safety, and the and the and the people driving in Blaine County. Oh yeah, I, I was by my rules. I, I pulled, I drove around him. He was doing whatever he was doing. But and you heard it yourself, sir. If you said he was in the middle of the road, I mean. I mean, yeah, it's un it's understandable, but it's just uh, if you see an emergency vehicle in the middle of the road with the lights on, I would be stationary until you are authorized to move. Because, like I said, it could have been somebody dead in the road or something like that. Uh, but um, uh, so. Um, oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you, like I said, even even if you uh, if I was driving behind you, of course, if I was in a Leo and you had your emergency flashers on and I was sitting behind you, I would at least I I would get out of the car and come and see what's going on. If you need help with something, you know, chief could have been in a tussle with somebody on the side of the road or somebody could have had a gun pointed at him. You come around and they start popping rounds off. Next thing you know, you got a bullet to the head just coming around and, and, and not being stationary, you know. So we're really looking for your safety and some of that. So I'm going to let Chief handle his business. I'm going to go back to that abandoned vehicle I seen back there past it if that's the one you guys are talking about, and I'm going to have that thing towed. But uh, Jack's nice seeing you. Chief, as you were, brother, holler if you need anything. Everything all right? Yeah, we good. Later, Sheriff. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to run that plate. Uh, it should be displayed dealer, Delta Alpha, Lima, Echo Romeo. You talking about in the van or the car back there that's uh, abandoned? The uh, uh, SUV type kind of looks like a squashed up Jeep back there. Okay, yeah, I'll go check it out. Uh, Jax, you don't know anybody. I haven't seen that car a lot also riding around here. You, that's not your vehicle, is it? The one that has dealer on it? Um, if it has dealer on it, uh, I mean, it could be one of the cars we're selling, but I haven't been here all day. I've been out and about picking things up. Oh, okay, okay, so... Uh, I, had to, I had to go down to the city, and I picked up some car parts, and then I had to drive up to Bledo and pick up some oil and some uh, other car liquids. Okay, cool, cool. So uh, the so you mean a dealer tag. So I'll go back out there, I'll investigate, and then... Uh, uh, I'll let 322 if he's still here, or we'll, we'll, we'll relate the traffic to you uh, if you may need to come pick it up or something. Or we'll let you know if we towed or anything like that, all right, brother? All right, sounds good. All right, Chief, uh, holler if you need anything, all right, brother? All right, sounds good. Thank you. Jack, uh, I'm sorry. Jack, stay out of trouble. I'm always out of trouble, sir. <laughs> all right, so he says, uh, uh, pulled around him. Uh, pulled around Chief's truck. He was just come to investigate. I mean, Jax, he don't never cause no problem. He, there's, he said there's a vehicle down there that it has dealer tags on it. And first of all, I thought it was like dealer for dealing drugs, but it just has dealer tags on it. The red tags has dealer. Hopefully it's still down here. And maybe the tow truck came and towed it already. So we're going to go down here and see if it's still there. And well, there it is. Yeah, we're going to make some contact with it. Cut it close. Three trolley one, three trolley two, direct. Uh, yeah, just be advised. We're going to have that vehicle towed. If he does, does he want to have it towed to his shop down there, or have it towed to the impound over the scrapyard? Or if he wants to come uh, walk down here and pick it up and drive it back, it's. I hate to tow one of their vehicles that they use as a dealer vehicle. Tiffo. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. See what happens. Three Charlie two, three Charlie one. Uh, just have it towed. Boss will come pick it up tomorrow. Ten four. We're gonna have it towed over there by him or to the scrapyard. Uh, the tow yard. Ten four. All right, so now we're going to use the tow script. We're going to actually get out here and hopefully the tow truck get here and not wreck anything. But this is a dealer car, so we don't want it to. We don't like to people to lose business either. In the, Three in the two, uh, I'm going to break off. I just had a AMPR hit. Uh, Kingpin vehicle spotted in county has a tied to capital murder. It's going to be a blue Schaefer uh, four. Last scene, Panoram Drive across Joshua. Tiffle.
through Charlie 58. Can you uh, go ahead and respond? Look for that Use vehicle. It's going to be a, uh, a blue Schaefer light. Uh, the, it's going to be a Saint SR. Uh, it's going to be uh, last known location to be Marina Drive, East Joshua Road, uh, going southbound. Ten four, show me in route. I'll be attaching my myself to that call. I'll be on the lookout also. Blue Schaefer, so it's going southbound, so it's going this way, so I'm gonna try to meet up. Um Cat Claw Avenue. Body going down Stab City, but I could be wrong. Update 20 is gonna be Group 68 Cat Claw. Uh, it's gonna be a, another hit on it. Route 60, so it may be going down Route 68. Hammer and Jive across Troll of Road is gonna be another hit. A blackout, so I'll see if I see anything. We have two deputies on, on route anyway, so. Patrol is gonna be back tonight. Three twenty one copies. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be for the panoramic door. Three twenty two. Okay, I'm in the area. I'm not seeing the vehicle at this time. Waiting for another hit. Three Charlie. Disregard. It's gonna be at the flywheels garage. Currently, at this time, we have multiple subjects out. Don't know who the owner of the vehicle is. Okay, for show me around call three. I'll wait and leave once we're back up the roads. Okay, for ETA three months. Charlie, the Charlie with the eight nine seven one seven with Charlie two. Okay. Receive. Let's get out and get everyone separated. Hands up and everything. Ten four. Dealing with possible murder. Central. Go ahead, 16. You can show me 1041-108. Do not move! Do not move! Both of you guys, get on your knees and interlace your fingers. Get on your knees and interlace your fingers. On your knees and interlace your fingers, please. Look away from me. I'm here for you. It's okay. Turn around. Get on your knees and interlace your fingers and get on your knees. I'm not going to tell you sure, again. If I got you covered, if you want to get the guy in the blue jacket, I'll cover you with the guy in the green. Slash H-U-K. Slash H-U-K. Okay, I'm doing it. You too, Howard. Face away. Get on your knees. Nope. Stand up. Face away from me. Stand up and face away from us. I'll try here. Leave me alone. Perfect. Now get on your knees just like that. I want to go for the guy in the green. Ten four, I, got, I got the one in the blue. Favorite number, green shirt. Nine. Ten four, three, Charlie, 58. I'll cover you guys. Do not move. Okay, so this car that you guys are in has a possible um, Wait, yes, he was a murder car. suspect. Oh, where, where'd you come from? Oh, what? I've been in my shop all day. This is my shop. Okay, okay. Right now, you're not placed under arrest. You're just all right, sir. Green, green, stand. Come with me. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, just no, stand he, still. Car right. got destroyed. It's okay. It's this okay. Car got destroyed from the explosion. So I'm giving that car's a rental. Okay. Uh, we will. Just, just making sure that the car rolled up. It's a uh, ANPR hit on a murder, and that's all we see. We see two suspects. You guys together. So you, it shows affiliation. So we're just. We're, you're not under arrest. You're just being detained for your safety. Go ahead and stand up. Slash H U K and face me. Okay. Okay. And I just got worried. 
Yeah, oh, it's okay. You can face me. Okay, yeah. For your for for our safety, like I said, um, just just uh, come over here. Uh, I'm gonna I'll come over here by my vehicle. I'm gonna pat you down real quick. I'm gonna put you in the back of the police car for a second. As again, you're not being arrested. You're just okay. being detained. Come on over here. I think that's right. I guess that's how you spell your name. All right, sir. I'm looking around your pockets and stuff like that. Um, just you don't have anything in your pockets to poke me, stick me, or harm in any way, do you? We're you. Okay, cool. Okay. Go ahead. Awesome. Can you run an 29 for me? Alright, Martini, uh, come on, step right here and step back in my vehicle, please. First name's gonna be Howard, last name's gonna be D. Both common spelling. I'll be with you in just a second, okay, sir? The address is gonna be 895 Grape Seed Main Street. He has one combat pistol and two tickets. No arrest priors, no NCIC warrants. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and search the vehicle. Yeah, go ahead and search it, and uh, just type in there when you get done searching. The, uh, what do I find, and, and see what's in there? Ten four. Now, all right. So I have Cover D in the back of my vehicle. He comes back with no warrants or anything, but does have a combat pistol, a couple of room rings, and or tickets. Yeah, let me tell you something. The other, the other, like about a couple of weeks ago, when he was on vacation, I pulled him over, and he has a lot of girlfriends. He's he has money, he has nice vehicles, and his his women that uh, I guess they get pissed off at him, and they 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 send a call dispatch and let him know. I pulled him over uh, a hot call the other day. He, they said call advised that he had, was transporting guns and drugs. Pulled the old man over. He had nothing on him. He just his girlfriends out for revenge for each other. And if he doesn't come see one girl, and he don't go, if he goes to another girl's house, they they do this. They false they false call on him. So I'm gonna go back here talk to him for a second, and then uh, I search Mr. Martini. I don't think Martini has anything to do with it. So I'll cut him loose shortly. But I'm gonna come back here and talk to Mr. Howard, and uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm gonna cross uh, question. All right, uh, Mr. Martini, and come back cross question. Question or jet, so. Okay, awesome. So, we'll miss you across then. Alrighty. Mr. Howard, how you doing, sir? How's it going? Buddy, I'm sorry for the hot call. Please tell me that's not one of your girls making a false call on you again. Do they have a APR hit yeah, on your this, vehicle? Uh, this ain't my vehicle. This is his vehicle. Well, um... When there the explosion that what happened earlier with that other officer, it destroyed my Camaro. So, you know, insurance came and picked it up, and they wanted to estimate uh, the damage and end up totaling it out because it cracked my frame. And he let me borrow his car until I with the insurance and went pick checkup. Thinks I'll go get me a new car, and here we are. Uh, okay, so this is the car he let you use as a rental. So. Uh... Did he, did he tell you how long he's had the car, or did it just come in today that you know of, or I know you probably wouldn't know that kind I of question. I had no idea. He, he went to the back and grabbed out of the, uh, I don't know, garage, or there's a garage back there, I don't know, and told me that, you know, it was a rental that he could let me borrow, and then come back, you know, I give him the money, or I owe, owe me or anything like that. Okay. I, I don't know what to I got you, Mr. Howard. Uh, like I said, yeah, last night I thought it was another bullcrap call from you girls. But uh, right now, sir, you're not being arrested. You're just being detained for our safety. We just got an APR hit on that blue car. It's murder, so that's why we all came. Code 5. You know how it is. You know, we're just trying to do our job. So just sit oh, tight yeah. for a second, and we'll be with you just one second, okay? 
Yes, sir. Be advised, three twenty to. Uh, he advised that he got this vehicle from uh, uh, the person here, and uh, it, he used it as a rental because you know the the explosion we had earlier messed up his car. So uh, possibly uh, Martin let him borrow this car. I don't know where the APR hit can come from. If you want to ask him about that, I'm gonna walk around the back of the shop and look around and see if I ain't seen anything suspicious. Stiffo. Receive. You won't know why either. Uh, he did confirm that after the explosion, he did let the vehicle out for rental. Ten four, yeah, just stay stationary for a second till I get back here and search the back table. Ten four. Also advise Howard D. He's going to be free to go. Also, he's just here to pick up a car to use because his vehicle got uh, damaged earlier, so he's he's, he's going to be cut loose. Ten four. Greasy. So three Charlie fifty eight. If you want to go ahead and get him and get Mr. Howard out the car and uh, and see if he can use an Uber or something because that car is going to be uh, pending investigation. So if he wants to stand by and get another one or have somebody come pick him up, but he's free to go if you can uncuff him and let him know that he's free to go. Time for I don't see anything, man. You know, we're trying to put puzzle pieces together. But like I said, Martini's a new guy in town. Somebody can honestly come and sell him a vehicle. And I really hate these snowballs. That's why I gotta throw these out of the way. I hate these snowballs. Okay, so um, like I said, there's nothing out of the ordinary back here, uh, and he's sort of new to role playing too. So I don't know if I hide this. Let's see if you understand. Anything. Come on. So hopefully he knows how to answer. I'm just checking back here to see if there's anything suspicious. I don't see anything. Those uh, radiants, though, man, those lights, I love them. I don't know. I don't see anything, so he don't think there's anything tight back. So alrighty. Did you did you let Mr. Howard go? received paper yet from from anything and then you basically how it sounds to me you ignored your policy and still rented this vehicle out what did you, what did you I'm sorry think, yeah but I didn't think you'd do anything that bad man. you seem like a good guy to me I thought it would be okay. A, I thought it would be a good guy. Alright, just sit tight. I'm going to talk with the sheriff here. Alright, so story is, is he got the vehicle from uh, Europe imported. Uh... I asked him about his policies on and everything, if they're supposed to get cleared through the DMV. He completely neglected, he's gone to the DMV, talked with them, but they haven't sent the official report down about the vehicle yet or not. So, uh, the AMPR hit could be from Europe, is what I'm thinking, but he was negligent and still uh, ran out the vehicle to where someone could get that felony charge. Well, when that, they even... well, when it, when it comes to that, so uh, honestly, that's a citable offense. I mean, what that out of uh, you know Europe, that's out of our jurisdiction. That's the laws and are totally different from ours. But what we're going to do is we're going to yeah, we'll have to get with the Interpol and everything about that. So 
Absolutely. We'll do the Interpol thing. We'll obviously cut him loose, give him a citation, shut his shop down for the day, and I'm going to have this blue vehicle towed, and then I'm going to have it shipped back to where it came from. Alright. So, towed, inventory, and shipped back. Alright. Yes, sir. So, you go ahead and go ahead and, if you want to kid him, uh, if you can give him a warning, cut him a citation, to your discretion, but I'm going to have this vehicle towed. Tifo? Yeah, I'm going to cite him for negligence, uh, whatever in penal code will cover that, so. Awesome, I appreciate you. Alright, buddy. Alright, and then I'll let them know write a citation and come loose and shut the shop down. Sounds good to me. Any more vehicles come out in here like this, we'll, we'll shut it down permanently. Yep. Yeah, there was nothing of interest in here. Yeah, so do you know, uh, the scoop is, is he went over here and he got this car from Europe, he's renting it out, and this a this APR murder thing is from Europe, so we're going to make it, uh, since it's in Europe, out of our jurisdiction, out of our hands, we're going to tow this vehicle, interpool it, and then we're going to shut the shop down uh, for today. If you come upon any more vehicles like this and it comes from this shop, uh, his his shop will be shut down permanently, He'll, his permits will be pulled, his certification will be pulled also. For right now, it could be. A mix up you got an international vehicle uh, and don't know what it's coming from you rent it out thinking you're gonna make a profit but it has a hit on it so uh, that's the storyline here today we're gonna okay. get this vehicle towed shut his shop down for the for the remainder of the day and then he's if it's caught anymore we'll permanently shut his stuff down pull his permits and then we'll, we'll close this thing down all right 10 four I'll keep an eye out whenever I pass by awesome I appreciate you I'm gonna move this car and have it towed correctly. Three Charlie two. Two, three Charlie one. Go. Man. Go ahead, sir. My bad, I did not mean to hit that golf cart. So quickly by looking at this. Uh, we can get him for destruction, tampering with evidence, and or corruption. Uh, uh, they're all felonies by looking at it. Or there's, yeah, he's going to spend jail time. Well, 10 for sir, but just be, vi uh, be advised, uh, we don't know if he's uh, the prime uh, person in this. Like I said, that he could have got the vehicle from uh, International Transports and it came here with the bolo, so I'm not for sure. I mean, you could do what you want to do, but uh, I honestly don't know if we could pin this on him and get jail time. He'll probably just get thrown out because this is out of our jurisdiction. Or, or But if we get any more uh, cross-references on vehicles coming in here and he's having them in his shop, that takes it to a whole nother level. So if you understand, uh, you follow me on that. Receive. Ten sir. Three Charlie One Central. I'm gonna be still ten six investigating. We'll advise when we're back ninety seven or back ten eight. Ten four. Uh, Martin, you can step out of the vehicle, please. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain something. That Chief's going to talk to you. Hold on, you can, you can face me real quick. So that you know, we know that you're new in town, and you're getting these cars, these international transport cars, and these cars uh, look very nice. They make a very good penny to be rentals, but you need to cross-reference your vehicles because if you get murder vehicles, every vehicle that comes in here, uh, you know, uh, we're going to let this one go because we know you're new in town. We can't really put a finger on it. But this shop and you will be watched closely. If we have any more vehicles that comes through here with any AMPR hits from foreign uh, foreign, or foreign areas or cross-reference, anything right? like that, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be your ass. We're gonna pull your permits. We're gonna pull your certifications, and we're gonna lock it down forever and uh, stuff like that. So we're giving you a benefit of the doubt today. You're gonna be kicked with a citation. Your vehicle was towed. It's gonna be uh, investigated due to uh, 
you know, international traveling or, you know, how you're, where you're getting your vehicles from. So here next week when you get your paperwork back and your tow slip, whatever, we need you to come down to the office. I want you to start bringing your, 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 your vehicle registrations to the SO if you see an officer down there or call us here. But I want to make sure, and, and I'm on all the time, so I want to make sure your vehicles check out. We can't be having post-murder vehicles driving around here from uh, ANPR hits from, a, it's out of our hands, out of our jurisdiction, but if the people you're dealing with is bringing these vehicles in just to make a quick dollar, that's going to get you shut down. You're, you're, you ain't going to be able to feed your family. You understand? Yeah. All righty, Chief. You got something to say? All right. So you're going to be let off with verbal warning. All right. So if this does happen again, you will be charged with you being the renter of the vehicle. You will be charged if we get another hit like this. And it will go through everything, all right? And you can, some, these are serious offenses. You can be charged with destruction, uh, tampering with evidence, and corruption. Knowing that you're selling stolen vehicles and then receiving stolen property also or vehicle. You know, if you find out that it's a stolen or anything like that or it has a hit, you're not allowed to sell in the state of San Andreas. All right? So go through back through your policies, rewrite it to where you guys aren't going to get in trouble, but your shop is going to be closed down for the day for a full 24 hours. You will not be able to operate. If you do, we will come with charges of obstruction from failure to from failure to obey our word and shutting down your business. All right? Sorry guys. I mean the food. All right, Mr. Dean, go right, ahead and turn so around. Martini, go ahead and turn around. I'll uncuff you, and you'll be free to go. Okay. I'll call my, my, I'll call one of my buddies here to help me with these cars. And Martini, if you go ahead and turn around, like I said, we're not trying to be uh, uh, to stop on your business, man. We care about you. We don't want you to be dragged into something that you're unaware. Next thing you know, you're getting a... Uh, a subpoena for uh, all these international uh, vehicles that's been like uh, drug running or you know have any kind of hits on them man that's and that's putting people to harm like somebody from Europe can come down here and see the car that uh, that's driving around that murdered their family next thing you know they're right out here for revenge we got a family of uh, two kids and a mother driving next thing you know you're, they're getting pepper hey. full of bullets because of misunderstanding you know we're just looking out for you and your business. We, we, we see that you're new in town. We want you to grow with us, become a community, and, and we're all family here in Blaine County. But uh, uh, he's going to give you your citation. Mr. Martini, you take care. We're just looking out for you and your business, and uh, have a blessed day. Happy holidays. Oh, you're free to go, Martini. <coughs> Alrighty, what's up, buddy? Uh, one second. All right, can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, so I uh, <clears throat> went ahead and ran those uh, plates of those vehicles in there just to be sure. The only one that came back in ballot is the yellow one. Uh, the other two are registered to uh, Dean Martini. Yeah, awesome. I don't know if that one would be a uh, ex exotic. Shooting sucks. Did twenty two that guys? Oh yeah, this, I'm gonna get out here. I'm, I'm live. I'm gonna continue twenty two that. Yeah, so just it's just Roger. Uh, he's probably um. Has a vehicle that uh, that has been registered. Three charges. Good charge two eyes on. Back ten eight from scene. All right, ten four. Sorry about that. It's all good, buddy. Appreciate you. It's all good. All right, I'm gonna go back ten eight. Stay right. safe. You too, again. You too. Let's try one safe traffic from back ten eight. Ten four, showing all that tank. All right, guys, I know that was a, a little bit of a rec uh, sh sh recording for uh, 
uh, my lovely uh, viewers, spectators, and um, and followers. But like I said, that's a little bit of a taste of what we're doing. We've got some new people in here uh, gathering our stuff, still building. But like I said, the vehicles are in. We're pretty much on, 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 on a pretty good route. So guys, again, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays from from Serp, David L. Gaming, to you. Thank you guys for watching this. If you guys like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I don't want you guys to miss a beat. But until next time, thanks. David L.